Our free WCCO weather app can help you prepare for the cold and the roads in the morning. You can download it by scanning the code on your screen with your smartphone camera. Well, the first big winter storm caused a lot of problems for drivers overnight, and tomorrow morning could be challenging too. As Kirsten Mitchell explains, MnDOT is bringing in some extra crews to try to make the commute more safe. Today's mild temperatures melted away some of the snow, but left behind some slush, especially on residential roads. And with temperatures dropping below freezing, it could be a slick commute in the morning. A flurry of crashes marked Minnesota's first big snowstorm of the season. From 5 p.m. Saturday to 11 a.m. Sunday, State Patrol reported 261 crashes, 26 with injuries, 115 spinouts, and four jackknife semis. Even this limo had trouble in Hopkins. I got up this morning to go to my part time job and my eyes got wide open. Though the snow surprised Steve Spector, it was a welcome one. I enjoy the difference, you know, the summer and the winter. I think that's really important. I enjoy it. Gives everybody a challenge. Right now, you know, we really are fully staffed. We're ready to go. It's been a slow start, so our crews are, are really rested and ready to take on Mother Nature. With temperatures expected to drop below freezing overnight Sunday, MnDOT is bringing in extra crews to monitor icy areas like bridges and ramps. Those are areas that tend to get colder with road temperatures, so they tend to get slicker faster than other areas of the highway. Even intersections can get slick. When car exhaust melts snow, then it refreezes. Speed is a big factor, and if you can keep those speeds lower, you're going to help yourself behind the wheel. At Fratalone's Hardware and Garden in Arden Hills, salt was a hot commodity this weekend. The best way to do is just to work ahead, plan for it. That way, if you do go out in your driveway, it is slippery and icy, you can kind of get ahead of it right away. MnDOT recommends all drivers check the road conditions before heading out on their commute. Reporting in Roseville, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. The snowball bringing out the best in some communities. In Anoka, neighbors helped out Kestian Boyer by shoveling her driveway. Those are some good neighbors. Her husband works for the school district and was called in to do some plowing, so her neighbors all chipped in to clear off some of that snow. And if you're up early tomorrow, we'll help get you out the door. Riley's forecasts and road conditions start at 430 in the morning. A South Minneapolis house fire shows just how dangerous it can be to be a firefighter. We had three firefighters trapped underneath one of the roofs. Our uh, RIT team, our rescue team, was able to pull them out.